This is an Airtable base called Lost and Found. It enables staff at live events to coordinate all the lost and found items across the site, connecting people with items that have been found and posting items that have been lost. With Glide, we can make an app with this data so that volunteers across the site can easily view and add new items with their phones, helping people find their items much quicker. Let's dig in. In Glide, we'll create a new app and pick our Airtable base as the source. We have two tables in this base, one for lost items and one for found. And Glide has made a tab for each of them. Let's change the icons to better match their names. Next, we'll start to style these lists. The first list is the lost items. This is where people post items that they've lost and leave their contact details, so if someone finds it, they can get in touch. We'll style this list to show the item, the name, and the notes. And we'll enable adding on this list so that volunteers can add new items easily. This is a form screen, which will add a new row to our table. Glide has added entry components to match the columns in our table, but we can customize this screen and the components on it however we like. For now, we'll just leave it as is, but we'll remove the returned field. We'll work with this value later. So let's add a new item to see if it's working. Great, let's click into this new one that we just created. This detail screen looks pretty good. Let's select the phone text and add an action to dial a phone number. Now when users click on this component, it will dial that number on their phone. The only thing that we need now is a way for people to mark whether this item has been returned or not. Let's add a switch component and connect it to the returned column. The switch component outputs either a true or false value. This is often represented in Airtable as a checkbox. False is unchecked and true is checked. Now we can go back to our main list and filter out items that have true in the returned column. Now every time something is marked as returned, it will disappear from our list of lost items, but it will still be in the Airtable base. For the second tab, for the found items, it's really important for users to be able to easily browse and see the images of the things that have been found. So we'll choose the tiles layout, show the item, the location it was found, and make sure that the image is displayed. We'll also tweak this layout settings to show more images more clearly. Next, let's tap into an item and make sure that the detail screen is showing all the right information. Now, let's just delete all of these components and start from scratch so that you can follow along. We'll start by adding a title component and remove the details. We'll add a basic table and make sure that this shows the date, the location that it was found at, and the current location of the item. Next, we'll add a text component to show the notes. And as before, we'll add a switch component to mark whether it has been returned. Finally, we'll filter this list like we did with the other one to show only items that have not been returned. So that's it. If someone comes to the staff having lost something, they can open this app, search the list of found items, and if it hasn't been handed in yet, they can take their details and add it as a lost item. If a lost item is handed in, staff can snap a photo of it and add it to the list so other people across the site with the app can find it.